Vial Preparat was established in 1973 as a civilian continuation of earlier Soviet biological weapons programs. The project was reportedly initiated by academician Yuri Ovkinikov, who convinced General Secretary Leonid Brezhnev that development of biological weapons was necessary. The research at Biopreparat constituted a violation of the terms of the Biological Weapons Convention of 1972, which outlawed biological weapons. Its existence was steadfastly denied by Soviet officials for decades. In April 1979, a major outbreak of pulmonary anthrax in the city of Sverdlovsk caused the deaths of 105 or more Soviet citizens. Sverdlovsk contained a biopreparat facility. The Soviet Union attempted to cover up reports of the incident, but details leaked out to the West in 1980 when the German newspaper Bild Zeitung carried a story about the incident. Moscow described allegations that the epidemic was an accident at a biological warfare facility as slanderous propaganda and insisted the anthrax outbreak had been caused by tainted meat. The first senior Soviet biological weapons engineer to defect to the West was Vladimir Pasichnik who alerted Western intelligence in 1989 to the vast scope of Moscow's clandestine program. British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and U.S. President George H.W. Bush put pressure on Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev to open up Russia's germ warfare facilities to a team of outside inspectors. When the inspectors toured four of the sites in 1991, they were met with denials and evasions. Production tanks the purpose of which seemed to be to manufacture large quantities of hazardous materials, were clean and sterile when presented to inspectors. Laboratories had been stripped of equipment before being presented to inspectors.